rich mom advice I wish I had in my 20s and 30s from a rich mom that is 47 and didn't have a mom I could lean on to. So if that sounds like you, here I am to pass some hopeful words of wisdom or pearls of wisdom that I've learned over the decades. Number one, you need to work on yourself first. And I don't mean in like some spiritual sense or some purpose driven sense. I mean, you need to look at the ways that you can improve your life and not look to others to save you. When I was much younger, I would date much older men in hopes that they would take care of me. I had major daddy issues and the way I got myself out of it was therapy. I had the privilege of going to school. I got my master's in psychology. This might not be available for everyone, but self-help is. Being able to talk to people and reflect on yourself is. So you want to take care of yourself first. And I know that is way easier said than done. I'm fully aware it took over a decade. I grew up in an abusive home and I dated some volatile men, much older men. And luckily for me, I went through all of that stuff and I married a wonderful man who has, I mean, he rarely even loses his temper at me. He's definitely never laid a hand on me. And I did that by healing a lot of my own stuff without getting too deep into it here. It's just that you need to work on yourself. No one's going to save you. That's the bottom line. Even if they do save you, let's say that you get with an older man and he takes care of the funds. If he has the power dynamic, it's not somewhere that I would have liked to be. I encourage you to be a strong woman and to manage yourself. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't marry a successful man. I will get into that. That is definitely easier than marrying a non-successful man. But Working on yourself first really is key to attracting that person you want. I know people, let's just say my best friend's younger sister, she's always playing the victim. Everything is always other people's fault, but she expects like this gorgeous, handsome, successful, rich man to want to save her when she's not any of the things that would add to that man's life. She's victim blaming. She doesn't take good care of herself. She's terrible with money. These are not things that make one an attractive partner. So it's not, a, it's, it's just about improving yourself. If you want to attract a good partner, then you need to be a good partner. Basic line, just like the rules of friendship. If you want to attract good friends, you need to be a good friend. So that's my number one. Number two rich mom advice is that you want to partner with a successful man. I made the mistake after I stopped dating men much older than me, I dated a man younger than me who needed to be pushed from behind and I did not like that at all. He still felt like a mama's boy. I mean, my current husband, my husband is younger than him, but my husband is very mature and he did it on his own. He was not a trust fund baby and he was not somebody that needed to be pushed from behind. I kept trying for years to make my ex somebody that he just isn't. So I encourage women in your 20s and 30s or at any age, but I'm specifically speaking to those of you who would like rich mom advice, that if you are pushing your boyfriend, you will spend your lifetime having that full-time job. The women that I know from other women, I'm not friends with these women. The, just the stories I hear with the people most frustrated with their husbands, they're the non-go-getters. They're sitting on the couch. They're the ones refusing to move up the corporate ladder. There is an exception. I do know uh, money-making or bread-winning wife, and her husband is a stay-at-home dad. Now, I would never want him. He's definitely not a go-getter, but that works in that dynamic. If that doesn't sound like you want to be the breadwinner with a stay-at-home husband, then I encourage you to only date men that are self-driven. If your man is spending all day making excuses for not getting ahead, doing the bare minimum, that is a hard life for you. Piggybacking on this, on number three, this is important. I spent my teens, my 20s in tumultuous relationships thinking it was love or fun. And I will very strongly tell you that love should not hurt. Love should not be crying in a closet every single week 
wondering if you should break up, make up, anything like that. I've been married now for 14 years. It's very stable, very happy. It doesn't mean that we don't get into arguments or get hurt, but it's not that crazy, dramatic up and down that I thought was love in my teens and 20s. If you are in one of those relationships, that would be absolutely exhausting. If you want to have kids, that would take up so much energy. If you're going up and down, should I stay, should I not? That is not the relationship for you. It is not a good match. Relationships that I know that last, like most of my friends are in happy marriages, it's because you want the same thing or similar things around the same time and there isn't this crazy up and down. It's fun, it's passionate, but it is not good for the long term. I would never want that for my child. It is so exhausting. Get that done in your tween teens or tweens would be even better <laughs> and move on. Please do not marry that man that you've broken up, made up, broken up with. That is not good for a foundation of a marriage. It sounds absolutely exhausting. And when you're spending that much energy on your relationship, just going up and down and all the emotions, how are you gonna spend the energy on making a dream life for yourself? Making plans together, to grow together. That is what is important in a marriage. So these are just three basic rich mom advice things that I just wanted to share with you. I started this channel to at least maybe help one of you who needed to have a mentor in your life who did not have one who does not have one available in real life like I didn't although I did find them along the way so this is just me being one of the people along the way if you need to hear that you have permission to leave that up and down relationship it'll be okay it's not something that you want in the long run or that you need to work on yourself first, then I hope that this was meaningful for you. And for more Rich Mom advice, please like and follow for more and I will share from my heart with you. Take care.